Hey everyone, this is Alex and welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time today, thank you. And if you like what you see, you like the content, why don't you subscribe? Because I don't have many subscribers right now, so it'll make me feel really good. Today, we're gonna do a little something different and root a cutting that I received in the mail today. It's a Dyskidia or Dyskidia. That's how I pronounce it, but I think it's pronounced Dyskidia. Um, so we're going to use a plastic bag. This is the method that works best for me. I'm currently rooting um, some plants in a plastic bag. It acts as a mini greenhouse. I'll show you one of them. This is a Peperomia bovinii that I received from Steve's Leaves um, a couple months ago. These pieces actually fell off in transit and instead of discarding them, I was able to root them. There's new growth as you can see and they're perfectly happy. So this method works really well. Um, I rooted Hoyas all summer long. It's kind of my go-to method. So the materials that we'll be using today are your cutting shears. Make sure you sterilize them. Um, this cute little shovel that I got from Target, it was like a buck or two or three, I don't know. Rooting hormone, I like to use it. You don't have to, but I do like to use it. The cutting, plastic bag, my soil mixture, which is made up of some cactus soil, perlite, orchid bark, and probably a little charcoal is in here as well. And this little plastic cup that I poked a hole into for drainage. Um, I'm not going to be watering this very much at all once it is in the plastic bag, um, but I do initially give it some water after I place the plant in there. And I'm also going to need a little bit of water today, okay? So I actually already went ahead and cut this plant in two. Um, I will show you some footage. I can see some of the roots and nodes. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, so I'm going to be cutting below those and I'll show you. Probably, hmm, hmm. I feel like I'm going to cut right in the middle. Okay, so now I have two sections. All right, I'm going to let this, see how there's some, um, trying to focus it, but that ain't gonna work. But you can see, even though it's not super focused, it's a Dyskidia, just like a Hoya. It has some sap coming out of it. So I'm just gonna let this callus over for a little bit and I'll come back to it in a couple hours and resume this for you all. Okay, we are back. Let me just fix this. All right, don't mind the little baby in the background. She is singing her songs. So I'm just filling up my little cup with my soil mix. I like to keep my mix super, super airy. So like I said, cactus soil, perlite, orchid bark, and charcoal. Um, and I'll try to show you. Like, as you can see, it's super, super airy, okay? Sorry, I don't have the most high-tech equipment. So bear with me, okay? I'm just filling up my little cup. I probably could have just scooped it with the cup, but whatever. Okay, right now I'm just gonna mist the soil just a little bit. Okay, and I'm actually gonna mist um, the part of the plant that I'm gonna dip in in rooting hormone. Okay. I just poured some rooting hormone into the cap. This is the brand that I use. I don't know if it's going to show up backwards or not for you. Bontone rooting powder. And I'm just going to dip the node part of the plant where the roots will sprout 
into the rooting hormone. And this is just gonna help it, give it that little oomph to root. I'm actually gonna put a little more soil in there. use like a little stick to kind of make a hole just to not knock off the rooting hormone that I just applied but I don't I forgot it um, but this is fine okay next piece some more rooting hormone okay so you can see so the powders on the plant gonna make a little spot in there for it and I usually keep plants in these cups until the roots are near the bottom. So that helps that the, uh, that the cup is clear because then I can see where the roots are at. Oh my God, she's touching the remote. Okay. Okay, so this is the finished product. As you can see, it's super simple. Got the soil in there, got my cuttings in there, made sure the part where I applied the rooting hormone is below the soil. I did miss the soil a little bit before, um, before putting the plant in there, um, but I'm going to add a little bit more water in there in one second. I'm going to place it in the plastic bag now. All right, got my plastic bag. Got my plant, remember there's a hole in the bottom. I'm placing the plant carefully in the plastic bag because you don't want to drop it. You don't want to knock it loose after doing what you just did. Um, okay, so it's situated in the bag and I am just going to give it a little water right now. And I pretty much don't water it again while it's in here. And I like to just mist it. Oops. And then I shut the bag. Okay. Leave it like that. You can open the bag a little bit. Um, like this one that I did with the peperomia, I leave the top open a smidge. And again, it's doing just fine. As long as I can see moisture on the bag, then it's all good. Um, if you open the bag and you notice it's completely dry, then you do need to add some more moisture in there. So whether you spray um, lightly, that, that's fine. If you want to water lightly, that's fine. Um, but pretty much leave it alone and it'll do all the work for you. So um, when these babies do root, I can make another video and show you the progress. But there's that. Let me know if you've ever tried this technique and how it worked for you or what rooting technique you do prefer, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching.